Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory that is due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahabrakakadash, Brakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Moonstone who rule well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and our truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if you go back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Seminole so, so like a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are in fact and indeed an Israelite if you can perceive it through the spirit. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Aqua, which are the sisters that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh and the name of his son Yahweh Shai. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the children that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh and the name of his son Yahweh Shai. All right, this is Brother Karatazah. I'm back with another video epistle, Lord willing. It's edifying to those of you who may come across it. Okay, so what this lesson is going to be about is that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is all about revenge. All right? He's all about recompense. All right? In a righteous way. Right? All right? He's all about righteous indignation. Okay, so the first scripture that we're going to get is going to be the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30. And, uh, matter of fact, we'll start up. Uh, this is going to be the book of Jeremiah. The point is in verse 16. Uh, we'll start at verse 12. Man, we could keep going. You know, I'm going to just start at verse 11, but we're going to read on down because the point is in verse 16. All right. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, Yahweh, to save thee. Though I make a full end of all nations, whither I have scattered thee. All right, the nation of Israel was scattered. Yet will I not make a full end of thee, because he has a remnant, he has an elect. But I will correct thee in measure, and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. Hell no, the Lord Yahweh Bashem Shai, he gets off in that ass. All right, for thus saith the Lord Yahweh, thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. There is none to plead thy cause, that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines, right? We can't run to none of these nations, even though we treated them like they were our lovers, as we're going to continue to find out. Verse 13, there is none to plead thy cause, that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not. Yep, all these nations whose idols we worship, whose gods we worship, who we turned our back on. We turned our face to the Heavenly Father. We turned our back to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Hey, they, they ain't doing shit for us. For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one. For the multitude of thine iniquity, which is wickedness upon wickedness, sin upon sin, because thy sins were increased. Why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thy iniquity, because thy sins were increased. I have done these things unto thee. That's why we're in the situation that we're in. All right? Us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? Here's the point, verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all these nations devoured us. And all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. That's right. We had to go into captivity. You're going into captivity. All right. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. And where the us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are being preyed upon every second of the day. All right. Hey, all these nations are confederate against us. All right. So with that, we're going to grab some precepts on uh revenge all right the lord paying back those so the next precept we're going to go to we're going to go into the book of colossians all right chapter three and we're going to grab verse 25 
Oh, it didn't go to 25, but I clicked on it. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done. And there is no respect of persons. All right. So the Heavenly Father is there is no respect of persons amongst the Israelites with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim al Shai. There is no respect of persons, especially amongst these other nations. All right. So, yeah, y'all going to have to pay. Y'all going to have to uh, pay for what y'all did for the wrong. And y'all going to receive for the wrong that you did to the nation of Israel. All right. So with that. Let's go here into the book of Joel. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah, Joel chapter three. All right. Matter of fact, I was going to go straight to the point, but we're going to start up a couple of verses. All right. Okay. You know what? Yeah. We'll just start at verse one. This is Joel chapter three and verse one. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. All right. When it says I will bring again the captivity, that means he's going to release us from our punishment. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shapat. All right. And will plead with them, which Yahweh Shapat means judgment. Therefore, my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might be drunk. That's right. Look at Uncle Tom's Cabin. It's a movie on YouTube. And I got that movie downloaded uh, several times. All right. Because they ever tried to take it off. They were selling uh, Israelite boys to other men so those men could have their way with them. And they were selling the girls for wine. All right. Putting it in our face. Verse four, yeah, and what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Sidon, and all the coasts of Palestine? Will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because you have taken my silver and my gold, which are the Israelites, and carry into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold to the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their border. Okay, so now just this alone right here, this is why they took the Apocrypha out of the Bible, all right? Because it goes, it, it, if you didn't have the Apocrypha, our captivity would jump straight into the Roman captivity, all right? I think it was the Egyptian. We got, we went through a lot of major we went through a lot of captivities, but like there are seven major captivities. You got the Egyptian, Assyrian, Babylonian, Grecian, Roman. Damn, I'm missing one, Salakia. But y'all get my drift. All right. So this proves that the Apocrypha is canon. All right. Because Esau took it out the Bible. All right. Just off that. Uh verse 6 of Joel chapter 3 behold I will raise them out of the place oh I forgot the Medo Persian uh, captivity Salakia about that That would. and then this final captivity so we got the Salakia we got the Egyptian Assyrian Babylonian Medo Persian Grecian Roman and then this final captivity that, those are seven major uh, captivities. There we go. The water, how about Shimon al Shah for bringing it back to my remembrance. All right. Uh, Behold, I will raise them, verse 7, out of the place whither ye have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah. And they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off, for the Lord Yahweh have spoken it. All right. So with that, Let's uh, let's go here and we'll close out with this uh, precept right here. We're going to go into the Apocrypha to the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 15 and we're going to read verses 56 through 58. All right. And it reads like as thou has done unto my chosen, the Israelites are the chosen, saith the Lord. Even so shall the Most High Yahweh do unto thee, and shall deliver thee into mischief. 
Thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy city shall be broken down, and all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. They that be in the mountains, all right, all you preppers, and you think you're going to hide out, shall die of hunger and eat their own flesh and drink their own blood for very hunger of bread and thirst of water. So, yeah, and this is just some points that I'm making of the Heavenly Father, how by Shemi Shai's revenge. I can make a part two to this. But Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to those of you who come across it, the so-called white man, woman, child, as well as you other nations are going to have to pay for what you did to us. So with that, once again, I want to say, call her Lord and lie. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakodash, Barakatham. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who were well, who taught me this truth and who must definitely labor in this word. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutation to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here preaching this gospel, which is the good news and all truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say a ball, 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 and shalom.